The excessive importation of frozen chicken as well as the high cost of production has had a major toll on Ghana's poultry industry. According to the Ghana National Association of Poultry Farmers, over 135,000 metric tons of frozen chicken was imported from the European zone to Ghana in 2018, representing a 78% increase over 2017 imports. The trend is becoming more disturbing as majority of the people depend more on the imported chicken than the local products. Poultry farmers in the country are therefore calling for more stringent policy interventions to revamp the local poultry industry, which is almost collapsing. To them, the call has become necessary due to the daunting economic and health implications. Some poultry farmers made the plea when CPPTV visited some farms to find out why they were on their farms and did not partake in the Farmers' Day celebration. How are you from this? I couldn't be seen on a long crack. I couldn't feel a bush in my car. One, a bad boy. Two, farmers knew you in your credit. You in your credit. Be a blue boarding, a bruny boarding. By I'm saying this week, my dear, my boss caught them and I was about from Kakra. A blue in rooms are drugs and so the wedding, the wedding, and see, and know, and a land litigation so a high in most of imported in the unia good price. Unia, to say we are, you say, car, it be our imported now, mark out Christmas week, a bay, and they do Christmas as a farmers and so be a now be a about a system, no be a coffee with gray abem after Christmas, no, no, on way to be the Christmas market, nina. Because Mbua farmers and farmers here bread. Say yenika. Ye big farm I it is a yenika. Inti tem be I just say rent a car sa inti any memoiding. You memoiding my pa ye a TBI be ye. Yesu my ye de TBI a be ye to be shake of wound crimes will be any then on ye and madding. The empeje or minor. Twenty twelve vice presidential candidate of the CPP, Nana Akoswa from Poma Sapon Kumakuma. Proposed solutions to salvage the situation. Poultry farm today, anytime I have to put in uh, chicken in my mouth, I don't even know what I'm consuming because a ton portion of the chicken we are taking in this country are all imported. And we don't even know what goes into that chicken because before we take them and we consume them. Yet we have our farmers here who put so much energy and they can't seem to compete with the very importation of chicken here, which is lower price than the one that we have. That if we can then decide to take a bold step and say no more importation of chicken, what will happen is that the farmers can do more chicken uh, farming, they can have more, and for that reason, reduce the cost of production and therefore be able to be competitive to whatever it is there. But at the bottom line is this, this is food that we consume. We must know what we are consuming. We can't just not go import anything for years coming from anywhere when you and I know that even the institutions that are supposed to regulate and ensure that whatever is coming to this country meets that standards, we know and I know that they are not doing the right job. So if you ask me, I'd say the same thing. Everything is clear. This country is just interested in doing lip service. We never go ahead to do what is right. We are looking forward to the government, CPP government, that will come back and really put the interest of the Ghanaian at the center of every decision that will be made.